Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell. I am here today to talk to teachers about how to use the Ray Rice incident to bridge that racial gap that may exist between you and your students. Now we know the history behind the Ray Rice incident. Uh, he hit his former girlfriend, Janae Rice, in an Atlantic City casino. TMZ came out with a video and because of the video Ray Rice was expelled from the NFL as well as the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not really here to talk about that aspect but what I am here to talk about is I see an opportunity for teachers to be able to enhance their relationship with their children by having them do an assignment about the Ray Rice incident. Now domestic violence has ties to bullying. Domestic violence requires some type of in intimidation, some type of aggression, which is some of the same characteristics that people who bully other people exhibit. And so teachers, this is a great opportunity. Develop a lesson about the Ray Rice incident go out get some articles also get some articles about bullying and then what I would do is I would divide my my class up into equal groups you can do it one or two ways some groups can read an article about Ray Rice and an article about bullying do a compare and contrast or you could you could have some people just read about some groups just read about bullying and some groups just read about Ray Rice and then have them report out two very important well three very important things first of all make sure that your lesson plan aligns with the curriculum standards and of course you could use language arts you could use reading listening and pre presentation skills for math, math teachers, you could do some type of statistical analysis around bullying and domestic violence, but use a rubric. And the rubric should emphasize the curriculum standards. Don't put your opinion in it. Let the kids put their opinion in it. But the reason I really like this type of activity is because one of the things that you're going to have in your rubric is how children can avoid being placed or, or being part of domestic violence, being a victim or an abuser. You're going to have them uh, research the different resources that are available and then you're going to have them answer the question how do you protect yourselves if you find yourself in this type of situation and what you should you do and we're not talking about any type of violent acts this puts the teacher in a different light now what happens is you are teaching the children how to protect themselves and because you're teaching them how to protect themselves from these type of situations there is no way in the world that they could say that you are racist against them and so use this tip. Uh, this is Dr. Campbell. Thank you for listening in. Have a great day.